welcome. I didn't see you there. Come to think of it, I didn't hear you either. You're quite good at going around unnoticed when you want, aren't you? Have you been practicing your sneakiness? I promise I won't tell. Well, if you have, it might come in handy for today's book as we read about a ninja or two. Do you ever like to pretend and play ninja? Think about all the different missions you might go on or the adventures you might have, the places you could go, the people you could meet. Oh, I have, and it's a lot of fun. It's a fun game to play. I'm Mother Goose Emily, and I'll be your Mother Goose for today. As I said, today's book is about a ninja or two. It's called, Hello Ninja, Hello Georgie, and it was written by N.D. Wilson and illustrated by Forrest Dickinson. As usual, I borrowed this book from my local library, so if you enjoy it, I'd recommend you check out your local library and see if they have a copy, or maybe another book that you might enjoy. I'm sure you would find one. So, hello Ninja, hello Georgie. Let's start, shall we? It starts, hello Ninja, yes, hello. And what's our Ninja doing, do you see? He's bowing to his reflection. His reflection is in the slide though, do you see that? It's hard to get your reflection from the slide. It can be a bit warped at times. There's a cat watching, and way over here, I think I see someone else spying. Do you see her looking over the fence? Ninjas hop, ninjas chop, ninjas love to belly flop. Here's our ninja hopping and, oh dear, chopping his sandwich. There's a cat jumping along. I wonder if he's doing it for the fun of it or if he's trying to get the food. Way over here, someone else doing a hop. There's our little girl who's spying before she's hopping her fence. Look, now our ninja's belly flopping into the water as the girl and the cat watch on. The cat looks a little like he's a bit concerned for his human. Yeah, not all cats enjoy water. Most of them don't. It also looks like our cat is playing with a pirate ship. Do you see that? But when a ninja's not alone, he promptly turns as still as stone. We think, can we do that? Can we turn as still as stone like a ninja? Do you want to try it with me? Let's try on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. <gasps> wow, you're good at that. You might be even better than I am. We might make a good ninja team. What do you think? Well, here's our ninja. He realizes he's been spotted. And oh no, so he's still, like, still a stone. You can't see me. You can't touch me. Now our girl and the cat are just watching. They're, they're confused. What's going on? He will not speak. He will not blink. He will not sip a juicy drink. Look, she's with her cat and the girl are watching. Hmm, what's going on here? Just trying to get him to drink, but nope. He will not react. He's still as stone. Not gonna have a drink. A neighbor girl can leap and spin to try and make a ninja grin. But once she finishes, once she's finished in the air, the ninja is no longer there. Look, she's leaping and twirling. She's uh, cartwheeling. Trying to make the ninja grin, make her friend laugh and react. And he's running. Look, do you see what our ninja's doing? He's running away. Where'd he go? Do you see our ninja? Can you spot him? I think I see him way over here behind the tree. Did you see our ninja? It's nice of her to try and make her friend laugh. It's always fun to do that, isn't it? He's just trying not to react. He ran when he could. She's going, where? Where is he? Where'd he go? He vanished like a northern wind, too shy to make a brand new friend. And look, what did our little girl do? She, she became a ninja too. She's sort of become her own ninja. Her cat's following along and our ninja's he's 
watching, he's assessing, he's going, hmm, what's happening now? He's being a little shy. He'd rather dance with fireflies or listen to a pirate's lies. Oh, those do sound like grand adventures, don't they? Look at him over here. It's beautiful. He's trying to catch all the different fireflies. He's got them in a jar. See that? Have you ever tried to catch fireflies? Over here, he's listening. He's, he's drinking a juice box and he's listening as the pirate's whispering to him. He's telling him all sorts of secrets and stories and lies. It does sound like an interesting way to spend an evening, doesn't it? To listen to a pirate's stories. Grand adventures indeed. Or leap around a thundercloud, all to avoid a ninja crowd. Like he's leaping through the clouds. Wow. Have you ever imagined what that would be like? Oh, just being in the clouds like that? Oh, that's a fun thing to imagine. That's very interesting. It's interesting how many different things people will come up with to feel. What does a cloud feel like? And our little girl, our little ninja, second ninja over here, she's going after, it looks like she's following a treasure map with her cat, the cat. I think is she gonna find her treasure? And our first ninja's watching on. What is she doing? Maybe ninjas are afraid to share the world that they have made. First one, ninja's watching, she has her ninja moment. She's looks like she's going after treasure. She's found a treasure. But look what's guarding it. Oh dear, do you think she'll get away unscathed? Her and her cat with the gem. Look, are they being afraid? Are they afraid to share their worlds together? Their different adventures? No! That can't be it. Ninjas are the best at all they do. There's a ninja watching and, oh no, the creature guarding the treasure woke up. She's running away with her bag full of treasure and the cat's giving a gem to the ninja. What do you think's gonna happen next, do you know? There should be more, not just a few. You might be scared of someone new. But danger is more fun with two. You see your ninjas? They're running from the beast. Oh dear. But way over here. Looks like they might be getting a rescue. Look. They've gotten away on a dragon. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? That'd be fun to do. Like they're saying, danger is more fun with two. That's true. Do you ever go on a different adventures? Share your adventures with your friends? See what you can get up to and share them. Your adventures can be more fun when you share them. Hello, ninja. They're celebrating, they're on the dragon. They got away with the treasure. High fives. But oh dear, our cat looks a little afraid on the tail. Hello, ninja. Yes, hello. There are two ninjas again. They're bowing to each other this time. There's all the different animals. Look, they've got treasure between them and they're all talking and saying hello and having fun. They're not two ninjas getting along. When two ninjas stick together, there is no storm they cannot weather. Now they're climbing mountains and going through forests and the beautiful scenery. They're helping each other out. Get up mountain you see cat included at the end there and if there's no problem they can't solve they work together beneath the moon beneath the sun with laughs and kicks and ninja fun there are two ninjas going on all sorts of adventure having all sorts of fun together see them jumping and hopping doing all sorts of ninja moves in the air around and that's the end of our story oh that's great yeah there first ninja's a little afraid to let her in to his world at first and show her but it can be he's being shy but if you open up to people you might be surprised by how much fun you can have together sharing all the different imagination things you can imagine it's can be a great reward and have a lot more fun than you think if you give it a try. 
it's okay to play on your own sometimes too. Well, I hope you had fun with our ninja store too. Like I said, maybe we could make some good ninjas ourselves. Our next song is about saying hello, like our first ninja was having trouble doing. So if you're ever feeling shy, you can sing this song, maybe hype yourself up, or when you're seeing your friend for the first time in a while, you can get yourself all excited and get over with that shyness. You can think of this song, it's called Hello, Hello. Do you sing it with me? Normally I'd say stand up doing it, but I'm gonna stay where I am for now. And you do the actions as we sing them. Would you do it with me? Let's try it, all right? It goes, hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you reach up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Can you reach up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? And that's the end. It gets us all excited and hyped up. Maybe something to do with nervous energy if you're worried about meeting someone for the first time, I don't know. Something to think about. I'm so glad you could join me today. I had so much fun. Even if you did surprise me at the start. I hope I'll get to see you next time. What we have left for today is our goodbye song. I hope you'll sing it with me. Will you try? Alright, I hope to. It goes... See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. <sighs> See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye, butterfly. I hope to see you again soon, and thank you for joining me today.